Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Center asks collegium led by Chief Justice of India to give preference to women SC, ST and OBC for judgeship. MLA Tongwang Konyak inaugurates Soil Testing Lab at District Soil Conservation Office, Mon. Nagaland Chief Secretary J. Alam asks Nagaland Forest Management Project to publicize various activities. And Rajya Sabha resumes discussion on a motion of thanks to the President's address to both houses. As the number of COVID-19 cases are rising fast in several parts of the country, we appeal our listeners to be vigilant and get fully vaccinated and help others, including children between 15 and 18 years, to get vaccinated. With the new Omicron variant of coronavirus causing concern, please continue to follow these three simple steps to stay safe. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline Numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline Number 1800-345-0019. And now the news in detail. Union Law Minister Giren Rejiju said that the centre has stressed time and again to the Collegium led by Chief Justice of India to give preference to women, backward communities, SC and ST, while recommending the names for appointment of judges. Replying to supplementaries in the Rajya Sabha today, Rejiju said he has been personally asking the Collegium in this regard. The Ministry informed that this is the first time the Supreme Court has had four women judges out of the total 34 judges. He said there are 83 women judges out of 1,098 judges in the high courts. He added that the government deliberately never held up any case of appointment of judges. He said the centre has to do due diligence while appointing judges to ensure qualified people reach there. MLA Tongwang Konyak inaugurated Soil Testing Lab in the presence of Mon Deputy Commissioner Tawasilan K at the District Soil Conservation Office Mon yesterday. Tongwang said that the project would greatly benefit agriculture in the district. The MLA appreciated the department for implementing the much-needed project in the district. The inaugural program also witnessed the launching of block-level soil testing equipments. Nagaland Chief Secretary J. Alam released the Nagaland Forest Management Project, NFMP, manual in Kohima yesterday. Speaking at a program organised by NFMP for release of the manual, Alam urged the team to focus on publicity of various activities through media, including social media. He said new practices and technologies will be deployed in the project. The Chief Secretary assured that efforts will be in regard to convergence with concerned departments. He loaded the team spirit of NFMP and complimented them. Nagaland PCCF and HOFF, Tramendra Prakash, and the Project Director, Implementation, Monitoring and Evaluation, Vetpal Singh, amongst others, also spoke on the occasion. The Rajya Sabha today resumed discussion on a motion of thanks to the President's address to both Houses of Parliament. Participating in the discussion, Minority Affairs Minister Mukhtar Abbas Nakhvi said the dignity of the Prime Minister's post has been restored after 2014 when Narendra Modi became the Prime Minister. He said that corruption and red tapism have been removed under this government. Nakhvi said that national security as well as border security has been ensured by the government. Congress member Ripun Bora said rising inflation and unemployment were not mentioned in the President's address. He said no roadmap was presented to tackle these issues in the address. Questioning the disinvestment in PSUs, he said the present government has not created any PSUs during its tenure, whereas 23 PSUs have been privatised. Ramnath Tagore of JDU demanded opening of bank branches in every panchayat. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIR News, Kohima. To commemorate the celebration of 75 years of India's independence, Azadi Gamrit Mahotsav 
We present India at 75 quiz with AIR News Kohima, a special quiz on India's freedom movement in its glorious history every Thursday in the evening news bulletin. And here goes our question of the week for English news bulletin. Jawaharlal Nehru's famous work, The Discovery of India, is dedicated to whom? I repeat, Jawaharlal Nehru's famous work, The Discovery of India, is dedicated to whom? Listeners can send their responses to the question to our email aiinewskohima india 75 at gmail.com or WhatsApp to 94852399950 along with name and address. The first correct answer received from the participants will be selected as the winner and will be announced in tomorrow's morning news at 7.30 a.m. Nagaland today reported 70 fresh COVID-19, raising the state's COVID tally to 34,680. Of the fresh cases, Timabu reported 49, Kohima 16, Mugukchung and Beren 2 each, and Peg 1. State Health and Family Welfare Department said 96 recoveries were reported today, increasing the total recovery from the infection to 31,705. No COVID death was reported in the past 24 hours. Total active case in the state is 807. Chief Secretary and Chairman of Project Steering Committee, J. Alam, launched the Nagaland Education Project, the Lighthouse Nectar official website. School Education Department said the website aims to foster communication with various stakeholders and the public involved in the project directly or indirectly. It further stated that the website will serve as a communication related to disclosure of all publicity available project documents, project updates, announcements, news, messages and grievance redressal. The department has requested all concerned stakeholders to make use of the platform to understand the project better and also give their valuable inputs and feedbacks. The department further stated that the Nectar project is expected to pilot innovation in teachers' management, community accountability and also implement innovative models for technology integration, decentralized management of education systems and community-driven accountability mechanism. Centre has issued modified guidelines on the reopening of educational institutions in different parts of the country. In its new guidelines, Education Ministry has allowed states to decide if parental consent is needed by school students to attend physical classes of the COVID-19 lockdown. It said state and union territory governments may decide at their level whether their schools are required to take the consent of the parents of the students attending the physical classes. The ministry said specific marking may be made with sufficient distance to manage the queue and ensure physical distancing in the school premises. The Supreme Court today refused to postpone this year's graduate aptitude test in engineering, Kate 2022 exams amid the third wave of the coronavirus disease. The APEX court pointed out that delaying the exams might lead to chaos and uncertainty among students. The court also pointed out that the first and the second COVID-19 waves were different from the third and in recent times, as many as 20 examinations conducted by government bodies had to be postponed similarly. With a green signal from the top court, the Cade 2022 exams would now be held physically as per schedule. Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting, El Murugan, said government has initiated cases against 60 channels whose contents were against the safety and integrity of the country. Replying to supplementaries on the news channels promoting anti-national activities, he said 160 cases have been filed against these channels. The minister said these channels include YouTube channels and Facebook accounts. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Centre asks Collegium led by Chief Justice of India to give preference to women, SC, ST and OBC for judgeship. MLA Tongwang Konyak inaugurates Soil Testing Lab at District Soil Conservation Office, Mon. Nagaland Chief Secretary J. Alam asks Nagaland Forest Management Project to publicize various activities. And Rajya Sabha resumes discussion on a motion of thanks to the President's address to both Houses of Parliament. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. 
Good night.